Hey, welcome to West Thomas Street. We're right down by Myrtle Edwards Park here. This is an area I know very, very well because I ride my bicycle down here all the time. You just get on the trail down by the Seattle waterfront, ride up the trail here at Myrtle Edwards, pop out at Inner Bay, go up over Queen Anne, I'm back at the radio station. It's a beautiful ride. But right now, the city of Seattle is about to begin construction on an overpass that's going to get people from Elliott Avenue West over the railroad tracks to the trail. The cost of this to you, the taxpayer, $10 million. The bike Nazis in Seattle once again have reared their ugly head. Now we're going to find out how long is it going to take a bicyclist to get around without the $10 million overpass. Come along for a ride. We'll check it out together. All right, so I can ride my bike at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. So I'm going to go that speed, and we'll see how long it's going to take me to get on the other side of those railroad tracks without the $10 million overpass that they're putting in. OK, I'm about 22 miles an hour. So I don't want to exaggerate it here. We'll see uh, what kind of time I'm saving for $10 million taxpayer dollars here. Besides, this is a beautiful ride. I come down this street all the time on my bike. There's Elliott Avenue. It hooks up with the Seattle waterfront down here. You come between these downtown skyscrapers. You get all kinds of energy. Let's see, can I connect down that street? Oh, no. I'd have to go one more block on my bicycle. OK, and here I am to Alaskan Way, Broad Street. This is how far I would have had to have paddled without the $10 million overpass. Steph, how much time did that overpass save me? It saved you about 60 seconds. 60 seconds! And if you turn the camera out here, Steph, you'll see we're right there on the trail. So for 60 seconds, for bicyclists who are too lazy to ride another 60 seconds, that's going to cost the taxpayers $10 million. No wonder we're getting so fat as a nation. Your tax dollars at work.